The man who understands the language of animals does not eat meat. Good morning. Bonjour. Subah al khair. Ansuma das subah. Mimo machi. Kola fia. Ekaro. Welcome to another episode. <clears throat> Here we are going to page eight of Lagos Life. And uh, we cannot show you page eight alone because the writing gets into page nine. It's extended to page nine, and therefore I will show you how to show you the two of them. Page eight here, and you see it extends to page nine. So page eight here. And page nine. The two pages go together. Uh, <clears throat> the story is little Gary Coleman is crazy. I believe viewers know this face very well on TV. I think he began in TV Nigeria. And you went on Nigerian TV. This is the face, Gary Coleman. <clears throat> so little Gary Coleman is crazy. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, it is there, but we will start with this story first. Exhibition on contemporary African arts. It may be an introduction to that. I don't know. We have to read it first. This is it. Exhibition on contemporary after African arts. Let's get there first. Let's go there first. An exciting exhibition entitled Contemporary African Arts Changing Traditions That's column, sorry. The Changing Traditions Inverted commerce. But I don't know where the inverted commerce started. It's not there. Mm. After 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 changing tradition, there is double, it's full stop and then double inverted commas. But you can't find where it, it, it started. Mm. Changing tradition opened at the studio Miskum in Harlem in New York City, January twenty first. Not January twenty first of this year, but nineteen ninety. Mm -hmm. 21st, 1990. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the visually appeal, the visually appealing and attractively mounted show, which is to run through May 6, promises to be an educational and enjoyable experience for New York museum goers. Paragraph featured in the exhibit which was funded by the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, the Rockefeller Foundation, the New York State Council on the, on the Arts, and the National Endowment for the Arts, are 70 of the most recent works of nine artists from six sub-Saharan African countries. They are mixed media. They are mixed media arti artists. Yusuf artist. No full stop there. Okay. Yusuf Bath of Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, painter Abladi Kova of Ghana. Collagist uh, Rosemary. Karuga of Kenya, uh, painter Suleiman Keita, Keita Suleimana, Suleimani Keita, uh, painter Suleimani Keita of Senegal, uh, 
printmaker Bruce Ono Brapia of Nigeria, sculptor sculptor El El Anasi, a Ghanaian living in Nigeria, and sculptors Nicholas Mukum Berenwa. Nicholas Mukum Berenwa. Mm. Then Henry Henry Munyaradi and Tapfuna Gursa of Zimbabwe. Um. Paragraph. The exhibition, which has been four years in the making, examines the artist's influences and aesthetic concerns of temporary African artists, including the impact of African cosmology, of African, uh, African cosmology, comma, myths, myths, comma, and, and, folk, and folk tales, comma, as well as non-African forms of techniques in their art. Okay. After three, after three years of research in Africa and in the United and in the United States, curator Grace curator Grace uh, Grace Stanidops, Grace Stanislaw, chose the time artists from, sorry, chose the nine artists from six countries whose works she considers, which, whose works she considered repre, whose works she considered, comma, Represent then invited then inverted commas double inverted commas represents some of the most some of the most compelling examples of the art of modern of, of the arts of modern expression comma technique and medium produced in their country full stop paragraph in an interview before the opening of the exhibition, she noted that there is a change in the way African art now is perceived in the United States. These artists, she said, are not anonymous and untrained as we once thought, as we once thought them to be. Full stop. They are exhibited. They are exhibited internationally, full stop. A lot of them have been trained outside of their own country. That is, full stop, that is change in our perception of African art. Paragraph. What the curator found to be the most surprising What the creator found to be the most surprising, she continued, she continued, was that the, contem the contemporary African artists are able to work under, under conditions that are not entirely positive, full stop. They are working under conditions that are not conducive to creativity. So many good artists are working under conditions that would shock us and are doing high quality work. Full stop. That is what, 
That is what surprised me, she said. That is what surprised me, she said. Hmm? Sculptor E. I, capital E, capital I, sculptor, sculptor E, I, Anachi, comma, whose bright, whose bright underwear of a fallen, of a fallen god is bound to catch a visitor's eye upon entering the gallery. Often makes, polit often makes political and social comment commentary with his subtle satirical uh, humor. With his subtle satirical humor. In this, in his sorry, in this work, created of tropical hardwood and acrylic paint, the artist comments. The artist comments on the artist comments on political corruption, hmm? comments on political corruption, greed, and the uns, and the unsuccessful effort of politicians to keep their underwear underwear into brackets symbol of the self symbol of the self into brackets underwear. So okay, so let me remove the brackets hmm? to keep their underwear. Uh, unstained to keep their underwear unstained. Pardon me. The idea of using electric power, electric power source, routers, uh, sanders. I don't know if it's routers or routers. Eh? R O U T E R S. My, main, my brain is going off. Okay. Then Sanders, Sanders spelled S A N D E R S, and drills to cut and work the surface, the surface of a variety of local indigenous woods rather than. Bear with me, uh, viewers. You see, the paper is spoiled along the line here, so it's difficult to read. Hmm? Uh, local indigenous local indigenous woods rather than using rather than using the traditional rather than using the traditional carbon methods I believe is carbon carbon methods Mm, uh, Anache Notes was, was born in 1980. Anache Notes comma, was born in 1980 while he was artist, artist in residence. In residence is hyphen, I and then hyphen, then hyphen to residence. Rather than, rather, Uh, sorry, uh, born in 1980, while he was artist in residence in the in the community of arts in coming in Cummington, Massachusetts. Okay, we'll go to the next uh, section. Inspiration. The sculptor who says that he gets the inspiration. From life in Africa, stresses that Africa is a land of intensive ex experiences that one cannot just push aside easily. He considers he considers his works a new presentation of all things. Mm, new presentation of old things in doubly inverted commas, mm. uh, but it's but it's quick to add that one cannot shut oneself out from any experience, including those 
uh, outside of Africa. That would be, full stop, that would be dangerous, he says. Full stop. Although all of the works from his own collection, from his own collectional, sorry, sorry, all of, all of the works from his own collection are on loan to the studio museum. Oh, there is a bracket there, but I don't, I don't see the beginning of the brackets. I don't know. Okay. Ah, uh, brackets close. Ah, uh, brackets close. Then are uh, on loan to the studio museum. Anachi indicate. Anachi indicate availability to potential buyers by stating that works don't reach out if you keep them. Mm -hmm. By stating that works into brackets again into inverted commas, double inverted commas. By stating that inverted commas works don't reach out if you keep them. Of course, if you keep them, how do they reach out? Okay, we we'll go to the next column. Uh, there are all stars, four stars or so for every uh, segment of the story. Mm -hmm. We we'll go to the next segment. If you keep them, uh, the artists whose creations clearly denote traditional African sculptor says that he was noting, so says that he was not, says that he sees nothing wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, viewers. Says that he sees nothing wrong with exposure to non African ideas and forms. Then invented a Commerce again. In fact, in fact, he says nothing is wrong with it because if one really has a strong personality, the danger of it being eroded is not very wrong. It's not very wrong. Then full stop. Absorb influence. Absorb influence. Inverted commas close. He stresses uh, another inverted commas again. No, this. He stresses, but he stresses, but he but be yourself. He stresses. Sorry, he stresses, but be yourself. The influence might make you strong. Full stop. So I don't close my eyes to outside influence. So I don't close my eyes to outside influence. Paragraph. It was re it was repeatedly emphasized by the organizers as well as the artists. As as well as the artists represented in the exhibition that contemporary African art is traditional, comma, yet conforming to the dictates of modernization. Paragraph. There are colleagues. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are colleges by Rosemary uh, Colleges. There are colleges. by Rosemary Kirunga of Kenya, depicting everyday life in the village, created from, created from scraps of a variety at magazines, of a variety of magazines and newspapers. Hmm. I'm reading as colleges. I don't know if it's colleges. Co colleagues. It looks like the spelling is C. Pardon me, viewers. It looks like the spelling is C O L L A G E S. Mm. That's what I called colleges. I don't know if I'm right. Mm. Pardon me. 
Um, like I said, sometimes my eyesight is not good. It's not very good. From scraps of variety of magazines and newspapers, although the paintings of Yusuf Bath of Cote d'Ivoire could rival any leading contemporary artist anywhere in the world, his materials come from indigenous juices and powers. Indigenous juices and powers. Well, I don't know what the juices mean here. Anyway, okay. Uh, another segment. Not the last, anyway. Uh, Tafuma Gusa, Tafuma Gusa of Zimbabwe, the youngest featured artist in the exhibition. In the exhibition, comma, when asked what, what he thought the show would say to an to an American uh, audience, replied, replied thoughtfully, replied thoughtfully. I think a lot of time the dealings between Africa and the so-called first world are a bit one-sided. <laughs> It is almost like we never had a history and the first world has taken it upon themselves to create a history for us. It looks like we never had a history and the first world has taken it upon themselves to create a history for us. Hmm? Uh, according to another bad part of the paper. Hmm. Pulled it badly. Hmm. History and the first world has taken uh, them, them, themselves. Uh -huh. I think I've said it to add upon themselves to create a history for us. How? Now, sorry, now with my work, I can, now with my work, I am not going to apologize for what I am. Now with my work, I'm not going to apologize for what I am. I would like it to be a living, a leaf and let leaf kind of situation. Live and let leaf kind of situation. It is hyphened. Hmm? Those words are hyphened. Hyphened, a live and let live kind of situation. Full stop. All I can say is, at the moment, all I can say is, inverted commas, this is what I've got to offer. And one, and one must take it as one sees it. And one must take it as one sees it. It's about my people, about myself. Da, 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 da. It's our show as human beings. Full stop. In fact, my work is not addressing African people only. I would like to be, I would like to be shown with sculptors of other artists, and I dare say, I dare say, and he looks self-confident. As he concludes, nobody would say, nobody would say immediately, this is from Africa. Nobody would say immediately, this is from Africa. Okay. Although his startling, although his startling, welded steel sculptor into brackets, the carcass. Da, 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 da. Carcass clues. Da, 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 da. The carcass. An animal. An animal suspended from a post. Da, 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 da. Is, as he describes it, a statement regarding 
the cruelty of man against another being. So of man against another living being. The artist is another living being, comma, the artist sees. He wants to test the artist says he wants his words to speak to all about universal love and understanding. He continues, there is a place for everybody, but to achieve such a thing, one is forced to be critical. Full stop. Some of the works should bring to light the problems of, of the underprivileged. Full stop. Some of the works talk about an inner peace. Some of the works, some of the works talk about an inner peace. Okay. Another segment. I don't know if that's the last, I think that's the last segment. And that's the last segment. To his great satisfaction, most of the work was displayed in a separate, quiet alcove at the Harlem Museum. His message to Americans, his message to Americans, column, then inverted comments, greetings. Greetings and peace from Zimbabwe. Greetings and peace from Zimbabwe. Is that uh, Mugabe's? Yes, Mugabe's country. Hmm? Have your Britain, I have my America. Uh, have your Britain, I have my Zimbabwe. <laughs> Mugabe. Okay. Greetings and peace from Zimbabwe. Okay. A millionaire TV, a millionaire TV star. The salam. Set it at four o'clock. From Zimbabwe, that's where we stop. Yeah, I think that's all. From Zimbabwe, from Zimbabwe, that's the end of that section. Exhibition on Contemporary African uh, Arts. Exhibition on Contemporary African Arts. That's the end of that story. Now we go to Little, uh, little Gallery. Coleman. Coleman is crazy. Mm -hmm. A millionaire TV star, Gary Coleman, Arnold. A millionaire TV star, Gary Coleman, Arnold, in the hit comedy, Different Strokes, has tried to run over his dad with his car. Yes, I remember this, 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 this TV is getting a TV was not even common. I don't think I had TV there. I was moving from place to place to watch TV, especially uh, American wrestler. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a TV by then. Uh, ran over his dad car. That's the amazing claim of the parents who are locked in a desperate legal battle to control Gary's life and his 30 million pound fortune. Oh. 30 million pound fortune. I think he's dead now, if I'm not mistaken. Unless, of course, he's not the one. Hmm? Okay. The star's mom, star apostrophe S, the star's mom and dad seal and seal and dad seal and will. Uh -huh, their names are seal and will. The, the star's mom and dad seal and will. Say and happy Gary refused in, in, in capital letters, refused in capital letters, refused a life saving kidney transplant and psychiatric care, comma, 
drove his car, drove in capital letters, drove his car at the father and attempted suicide. <laughs> drove his car at his father and attempted suicide. Paragraph. Uh, <clears throat> the sad 21-year-old trapped in a child's body. Uh -huh. So he was not actually a small boy. Mm -hmm. The sad 21-year-old trapped in a child's body because of medicine he because of medicine he takes for the kidney condition was the highest paid child actor in the history of TV. Then he was not a child. You know he's 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, paragraph. Different strokes ended in 1986 after 11 years. That's the name of the play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gary, paragraph, Gary, who has had two kidney transplants and now needs another, promptly fired his lawyers, his agent, and his parents who acted as his personal manager and trustees. He told everyone his, he told everyone his chimdium mia. He told everyone his chum Dion Mia, 25, a former 25, a former Michael Jackson, a former Michael Jackson impersonator was in charge of his career and his fortune. Okay, then we now come to fortune. We now come to fortune. Uh, fortune. Dion and Gary, I don't know if it's Dion or Dion. Hmm? Please, pardon me. Huh? Okay, let me call it that. Mm, Dion. Dion and Gary now share a ranch home in Los Angeles and another house in Denver, Colorado, which Gary has filled with a massive modern train set a massive modern train set paragraph his parents claim he lives the life of a recluse staying up saying uh, sorry staying up all night playing with his trains and watching videos I don't, I don't imagine know what video was. Pardon me. Hmm? Bushman like me. Hmm? And watching videos. He was accused, no, he has accused them of mishandling his assets and diverting funds to himself and has refused to speak to them for nearly a year. You see what money can do? He and his parents. Gary's called... Gary, apostrophe comma. Eh? Gary's called. Oh, I don't know what sort of English is. You say Gary's. Eh? Gary, G A R Y, apostrophe comma. Then he said, Gary's called them over. Prote uh, Gary's called them over protective. So the apostrophe in the name shouldn't be there. Mm? Gary's called them, or Gary. Mm? I think it's the name should be Gary. Yes, Gary. That's a written error. Okay, let me correct it. Gary called them overprotective, interfering, exploitative, and said, inverted commas, I would tell them, I would tell them I either feel, I would tell them I either feel like raw meat or raw meat or or money back it either feels like raw it either feels like raw meat or 
money back. You either claw at me or you chase me. You either claw at me or you chase me. Claw spelled C L A U. You either claw at me or you chase me. Full stop. Paragraph. The battle has reached the courts in what is building up into into one of the saddest into one of the saddest legal tag of loves tag of loves in Hollywood history. We we'll go to another big print. Stricken. Hmm? A judge in San, in Santa Moniz, a judge in Santa Moniz, California, has adjust has adjourned the case for fresh medical reports on the stricken on the stricken young actor's health. Hmm. Yeah, here yeah, apostrophe is right. Hmm. It's right to put apostrophe there. Paragraph. Gary's mother claims her four, her four foot eight inch son is at risk of financial exploitation. Hmm. And she and husband Willis are seeking to take control of Gary's financial affairs for his own protection. Gary claims they are just trying to get control of his fortune. So what if your parents are getting control of your fortune? I don't know, some of us, some of us, as we don't, we don't feel any, we don't see anything wrong with it. Hmm? Considering your health, your, you know, height and whatnot. Hmm? So, Gary claims they are just trying to get control of his fortune, but... The agent, full stop, but the agent he fired, but the agent he's fired, I don't know if it's come out full stop, but the agent he's fired, Vic Perillo, agrees with the parents. Uh -huh. I also agree with the parents. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he fired him. Mm -hmm. Agrees agrees with the parents. Okay, the key the kid is losing his senses. He says in court, he says in court documents seen by the news of the world. When I, when I last saw him, he was speaking in an incoherent, repetitive fashion. Full stop. He used to be such an intelligent, quick person. It's really a shame. The Coleman's, the Coleman's are wonderful people. Wouldn't hurt a fly. I remember this story. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, stunted. We now come to another tick brain. Stunted. Stunted. They are taking their son to court because they want to make sure he's well taken care of. I remember this story very well. Yes, now. I remember it now. Uh, they want to bring him back to health. The parents, the parents testify in the court papers that they are worried about his refusal to have a third kidney transplant and the effect of and the effect of being on a kidney dialysis on a kidney dialysis ma machine three times a day oh my god so much money and no good health hmm? what which is better hmm? to have better health and not and to be needy or to have so much money and your health is in jeopardy. I don't know. Hmm? Oh, machine. Three times a day. Three times a day. On oh, kidney uh, uh, dialysis machine. Three times a day. Okay, paragraph. Gary was both 
So the girl was born with a Gary was born with a useless right kidney, yes. He lost the use of his left kidney when he was five. He had a kidney transplant in 1973, Dash, one of the first people to have one. 1973, he was one of the people to have kidney transplant. transplant. Mm -hmm. uh, he began taking drugs designed to stop his body rejecting his new kidney. But these also but this also stunted his growth. Oh my god. But this also stunted his growth. When he was 15, the transplant failed. The following year, he had a second kidney transplant, but that failed in 1986 when Gary was 18. Paragraph. Says Mrs. Coleman, Gary. So, sorry, says Mrs. Coleman, in inverted commas now, Gary has been running away from the third transplant for three reasons. Mm. Inverted commas, double inverted commas. He has run from any, he has run from anyone concerned about his well-being into the arms of people who go along with his wish to hide from health with his wish to hide from health, health to hide from health and who are talking brutal advantage and sorry and who are taking I'm sorry and who are taking brutal advantage of Gary's diminished mental capacity. Because I think that's what made him rich. Mm -hmm. Paragraph uh, three years, three years of medication for his kidney. Three, three, years, three years of medication for his kidney problems have degraded his mental state to the point that to the point that he can he can no longer provide for his physical health. For his physical health, uh, food, clothing, or shelter. Mm -hmm. Shelter. Mm -hmm. Clothing or shelter. Gary has created an insulated world for himself, living the life of a child recluse at home. He has no friends. His few ventures into the adult world because he has no friends, full stop. His few ventures into the adult world because of his mentally, because of mentally disabled state have resulted in calamities. His parents claim he eats junk food, skips meals, says up stays up all night playing computer games or with his trains or watching movies on video. They say Gary bought an expensive home in Chicago and gutted it to house and gutted it to house his model train collection. Then he left it empty and bought another home in Denver, which he also converted to take his train set. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, the, the, the story has run to page nine, so um, I mean, hence its length. 
but I think we're going to finish with this soon. Mm -hmm. The Colemans also claim Gary doesn't know the names of the companies he owns. Abba. Mm -hmm. Where his income goes to or the value of his fortune. He doesn't know. He can't know. Mm -hmm. Can't know. Illness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paragraph. In return, Gary has publicly accused Sue and Willie, that's the parents, of misunderstanding his cash, of mis sorry, of mishandling his cash. Mm? Says he, says Sue, they were painful accusations. Mm -hmm. That's one of the parents, Sue. I think that's the father. I don't know. Okay. Not, no, not only were they untrue, but we could not understand why Gary would both want to hurt us. And harm, his, and harm his own career by publishing his hatred of S and, bitter, and bitterness over money he fantasized we took. I remember this story. It's sad. Hmm? Okay. Oh, have I no, no, I haven't finished yet. Then hatred. Hmm? The other tick print is hatred, the last portion of it. Uh, the legal battery, eh, sorry, <laughs> say battery. The legal battle, hmm? my pronunciation is going bad, I've always been saying it. The legal battle may go on for weeks. Sue Coleman just wants an end to the hatred. Hmm. She says, okay, Sue is the mother. She says, I don't want him to be my little boy again. I don't want him to move back in the house with us so we can be so we can be mommy and daddy again. Hmm? Mommy Sue hmm? and Daddy, I've forgotten the daddy's name. Hmm? To be mommy and daddy again. I just want this animosity to be resolved and for him to know we are his parents who love him, and we are always going to be there for him. Last paragraph. All I want is for him to pick up the phone and say hello. Oh, parental love. Mm, that's the end of the story. Uh, it's been pretty long because it's extended from page five. So when we go to page five, we have little to do there. Mm, it's about Obali Pendil Club 75. Mm, book on Iba activity. Okay, good. Spent quite some time. Thank you very much. You see what money can do.